Homeowners in luxury San Francisco high-rise are furious this morning over their sinking investment, you could call it. The 58-story Millennium Tower has reportedly sunk 16 inches since its completion back in 2009. It's also, by the way, leaning toward the Pacific. No problem there. Carter Evans is in San Francisco with why this building has moved so much. Carter, good morning. Good morning. Condos in this famous glass tower range from about a million dollars to more than $10 million. But now the building is listing, and that's giving residents a sinking feeling. The Millennium Tower is home to some of San Francisco's rich and famous. Joe Montana once lived here, and Giants outfielder Hunter Pence is among current residents who've recently been told the building is sinking. Jerry and Pat Dotson bought their condo in 2009. We paid uh, $2.1 million for the apartment. And you get a great view for it. Right. But you're getting closer to the ground every day. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, the building has sunk uh, 16 inches. But that's not all. The building is tipping. It's leaning 15 inches out towards the west from here. Unlike some other new San Francisco high rises, the Millennium Tower is not anchored in bedrock. You can see that this building has been settled. Ray Sullivan, a geologist with San Francisco State University, leads tours of the city's sinking and leaning buildings. He says the area where the Millennium Tower is built used to be in the water. After the gold rush, parts of the bay were filled in to create more land. Bedrock is two or three hundred feet below us. It's a long way down. There's a lot of mud, lots of sand on top. And I would be concerned if we have a major earthquake. Not a problem, according to Millennium Partners, who said in a statement, the building was designed and constructed to the extraordinarily high standards established by the city and county of San Francisco for this type of structure. Instead, the developer blames a new transit center across the street for destabilizing its luxury tower. There's a lot of finger pointing going on right now, but the one fact remains, if they had drilled pilings down to bedrock, would we be here? No, that is the heart of the problem. And until there's a solution to stop the sinking, many who live here may be stuck here, unable to sell. This is the, the major part of, of their asset. And that's for a lot of people is a very terrifying thought when they think about the millennium not going forward and fixing the building. The Homeowners Association is exploring all of its legal options right now, including pursuing damages from the builder, the developer, and even that transit center. Gail, the developers thought that building would settle about six inches over its lifetime, not 16. Right, that's a big difference. Thank you very much, Carter.